Bernie Sanders is actually doing something. Let's get into it and I'll explain what Bernie Sanders is doing to help out low income and those people living on a fixed income like Social Security. Let's get right into it. But if you haven't done so yet or if you happen to be new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button right down below the video so I can keep you updated each and every day with all of this information that is changing very rapidly right now. I do all of this research on your behalf. I take all all that valuable information, I boil it all down into these short videos, which I deliver to you a few times each and every day right here on the channel, so you can stay tuned with everything going on. So again, thank you so much for joining me. Subscribe down below, and my commitment to you and this community as a whole is to be here for you every single day, because I get it. The struggle is real, and I want to do whatever I can with all of this information to make sure that you're getting as much money and benefits as you possibly can with all of these changes that are taking place. So so if you like the sound of that, subscribe down below and let's get into this right away. All right, so Bernie Sanders, this is probably a name that you're very familiar with. If you've been watching the videos for a while now, you know that we talk about Bernie at least a few times each and every week right here on the channel because he's actually a very influential person in the Senate. He's an independent, but yet he usually votes with and sides with Democrats on most issues. But uh, Bernie Sanders is something we want to talk about in this video because Bernie is also somebody that is usually recognized as somebody who works for the people. But let's be real. Over the last few months here, we've been losing some faith in old Bernie because we've been reaching out to Congress, we've been reaching out to Bernie, we've been reaching out to the Democrats, asking them to add more financial assistance within the reconciliation bill, otherwise known as the stimulus package, and we haven't seen a whole lot of action. Well, we've been hoping that Bernie would stand up because he was the guy who did it last year, and he's usually the guy that makes a lot of noise, so we've been calling on Bernie but he hasn't done a whole lot quite yet. But he has done a few things and he's still actively working on a few things that will directly impact low income and those people living on a fixed income like Social Security. So that's what I wanna talk about in this video. There's three major points that I wanna go through that Bernie is actively working on to help out millions of people that I just explained. Now again, it's nothing huge, but at the end of the day, it is still something that would probably help out quite a bit. So let's work our way through these one at a time. Number one is the Medicare expansion. Now this is something that we've known for quite a while now. Bernie's been talking about this for several months. He wants to expand Medicare in the stimulus package to include hearing, dental, and vision. This is no surprise. We've talked about this many, many times, but this is one of the three that I wanted to talk about here. Now in the House bill of the stimulus package that passed a couple weeks ago, it only includes hearing expansion no vision and no dental. However, Bernie has mentioned that he wants to expand it or try to expand it now that the bill is in the Senate and add back in vision and dental. But it may not actually be happening, but Bernie is still going to try for it and see if he can get it added in. Even if they could get something like vision added in, even not dental, they've basically already told us that dental probably isn't coming back because it's so expensive. But even if they could get vision in there, that would be huge for millions of people when it comes to you know vision coverage. That'd be amazing for so many people. So that'd be really big right there. So that's number one on my list. Number two, is this $800 voucher card that would be sent out to about 60 million beneficiaries. Now, this is a card that would actually be sent out in conjunction, well, let me take that back, uh, as a replacement of dental coverage for Medicare expansion. So like I just said a second ago, they've basically already written off dental coverage as being in the reconciliation bill, the stimulus package, but in exchange for that, they sent, they, they've talked about sending out an $800 voucher card. Well, Bernie Sanders happens to be one of the people behind that $800 card, and he thinks that we should be sending this out as well. Now, he originally came up and said that we should send it out as an as a $1,000 card, which would be a, a prepaid debit card, which would go out to about 60 million beneficiaries, and they could use it for dental coverages. However, uh, the president talked about it maybe two months ago or so, and he mentioned an $800 card. So it's been sitting at $800 for a couple months now, and that's where we're at. But Bernie was really pushing for $1,000. But either way, this is something that Bernie has also been working on. And again, it's not much, but at the end of the day, maybe this prepaid debit card will come through in the amount of $800, and it could still be pretty helpful, right? So, all right, so that's number two on my list. 
Number three. Now, this one just came out a couple days ago. In fact, on Friday, this past Friday, so just a few days ago, this one came out. And this is, he drafted a letter to the president and he sent it over asking the president to repeal the, uh, the Medicare Part B expansion uh, sorry, the premium for 2022. So as of right now, the Medicare Part B premium for 2022 is $170.10, which is actually a raise of $21.60 per month just for um, the Medicare Part B premium increase going into 2022. Well, as a result of that, $10 of that raise, well, a little bit about $10 of that $21 raise is just from one prescription item. I talked about this the other day, actually. It's called Aduhelm. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. I'm not even sure, I'm to be honest with you. But um, it's for this new Alzheimer's prescription that costs $56,000, not $5,600, $56,000 per patient per year. So Bernie Sanders has written a letter to the president saying, hey, you've got to, um, we need to, ref um, sorry, he wrote a letter to the president calling on the president to basically support um, actually um, taking down the Medicare Part B premium by about $10 because they're building in and actually $10 into the Medicare Part B premium to account for this $56,000 prescription, which actually hasn't even been proven to work. That's what Bernie was saying in his letter. Sorry, I kind of choked up for a second there. <laughs> All right, but anyway, that's what Bernie was saying in his letter is you've got to do something about this because this Alzheimer's prescription has not even been proven to work quite yet and then all of these beneficiaries about 60 million people are going to be the ones who are paying for it prepaying in a sense for something that hasn't even been approved yet to be paid for by medicare part b and or proven to actually work so this is something that's still fresh. Um, I have not seen any formal response from the president yet on this to Bernie Sanders, but this is something I'm going to watch because in the in the event that the president actually does come through and actually does something about the Medicare Part B premium for 2022, it could potentially be going from $170.10 each and every month, possibly down to about $159 each and every month. So about... Um, about an $11 per month decline or decrease in the Medicare Part B premium. Now, again, these are just the speculative numbers as, uh, according to what I'm finding out there, but uh, we would need the president to step up and actually do something about this. And will he actually do it? Honestly, we don't really know. We're still waiting for some kind of a, a formal response out of the president if he even responds to it. And maybe he'll do something that won't actually be publicly released. I'm not really sure, but that's again, something that we need to watch very closely here and see if the president actually does that. So if this actually went into effect, the Medicare Part B premium for 2022 um, would actually only be going up by about $10.50 versus $21.60. So it'd be right around that $159 to $160 range per month, which would actually be about a, a $10.50 to $11.50 raise, $10.50 or $11.50 raise each and every month versus the $21.60 raise, roughly. So yeah, that would help a little bit. Again, it's only about 10 bucks a month, $10 a month, but at the end of the day, every dollar, every penny counts these days, right? So anyway, these are the three things that I narrowed down that Bernie Sanders is actively working on right now to help out low income and fixed income, including social security uh, going forward. So, you know, hopefully Bernie Sanders will still step up and get something else done here for the low income and fixed income, but we will, we have no clue what Bernie's going to do. And maybe at this point, he might not even know what he's going to do yet. Right. Uh, but over the next couple of weeks here, it's going to be really intense with a lot of things going on. And I'll continue to be here for you each and every day with all those updates. So again, if you haven't done so, make sure to subscribe right down below as it's totally free to do so. And I'll continue to be here for you every single day. So again, thank you so much for your support. Make sure to subscribe down below and go back and check out some of the other nearly 2,000 videos right here on the channel. Enjoy your day. I'll catch you again later.